Hey guys, I am Venkat and this is part 9 of Web Development with Blazor series. In this video, we'll discuss how to perform sorting in Blazor Data Grid. We discussed paging in our previous video. I'll include the link to the complete course page in the description box below this video. We're using Sync Fusion Data Grid component and it's free to use. Use this link to claim the free license. Again, I'll include this link in the description box below this video. At the moment, notice these data grid column headers are not clickable. When I click on them, nothing actually happens. What we want to be able to do is when I click on this first name column header, for example, when I click on it for the first time, we want the data in this grid to be sorted by first name column in ascending order. Clicking on the same column header again should sort the data in descending order. So we want to be able to sort in both the directions, ascending and descending. Now. If you recollect from our previous video in the series to enable paging, all we did was on this data grid, we have set allow paging equals true. Similarly, to enable sorting, all we need to do is set this property, allow sorting equals true. Notice, now the column headers are clickable. When I click on the first name column header for the first time, the data is sorted by first name column in ascending order. And notice we have the sort indicator here upward arrow. When I click on the same column header again, the data is now sorted in descending order and the sort indicator now is pointing downwards indicating that the data is sorted in descending order. Notice what happens when I click on this column header third time. The sorting is cleared. So here's the important point to keep in mind. When I click on a column header for the first time, data is sorted in ascending order. Second click, descending order. Third click, sorting is cleared. This is the default behavior. Now, what if we don't want to clear sorting on the third click? That is, we only want to have two states. First click on a column header, sort the data in ascending. Second click, descending. And then a third click should again sort the data in ascending. Basically, we don't want the third state. Now, if you remember from our previous video in this series to customize grid paging behavior, we used this component, grid page settings. Similarly, to customize sorting behavior, we use another component and that is grid sort settings. So let's include that component on this data grid and then set allow unsort property to false. Notice now on the first click, data is sorted in ascending order. Second click, descending. Third click, again the data is sorted in ascending order. We don't have that third state that clears sorting. At the moment, notice we have set allow sorting equals true at the data grid level. This means by default, we'll be able to sort by all the columns in the data grid. Notice I'm able to sort by ID, first name, last name, and email. What if we want to exclude a specific column from sorting? For example, I don't want to allow sorting by the email column. To exclude a column from sorting, all we need to do is on that specific column, use allow sorting and set it to false. Notice, now we are able to sort by ID, first name, last name, and when I click on email, nothing happens. Now. When the page first loads, we want the data in the data grid to be sorted by a specific column. For example, let's say when the page first loads, we want the data in the data grid to be sorted by the ID column in descending order. To achieve that, we again use this grid sort settings component. So inside this component, we use grid sort columns. And then inside this, we use grid sort column singular. If you want to, you can sort by multiple columns. In our case, we want to be able to sort just by the ID column. So we included only one grid sort column element. If you want to sort by multiple columns, include multiple grid sort column elements. So the field that we want to be able to sort is by employee ID. And in which direction? For that, we use the direction property. And to know the value that we can provide for this property, hover the mouse over, and from the IntelliSense, we can see it accepts sort direction enum as the value. So sort direction dot descending. Notice on the initial page load, data is sorted by the ID column in descending order. Multi-column sorting is also supported out of the box. 
To be able to sort by multiple columns, hold down the control key and then click on a column header. For example, at the moment, data in this grid is sorted by the ID column in descending order. Now, if I want to further sort the data by the first name column, then hold down the control key and then click on the first name column header. Notice the data is sorted first by ID column in descending and then by first name column in ascending order. We can see the number indicators there. And if I want to further sort the data by last name column, again, hold the control key down and then click on the last name column header. Notice now the data is further sorted by last name. We see number three there. And if we want to clear sorting on a specific column, hold the shift key down and then click on the respective column header. Notice the sorting by first name is cleared now. So by default, on the Syncfusion Data Grid component, multi-column sorting is enabled. And if you want to turn it off, as you might have already guessed, all we need to do is set allow multi-sorting property to false. Custom sorting is also supported. We'll discuss custom sorting and custom paging in our upcoming videos in the series. That's it in this video. Thank you for listening.